Uh, I'm going to next call on one of the affiliate supporters of today, Sri Puka, and that is the Muslim Student Association Union, so at the national level. And I'm calling on the lovely Aisha Hamid. Yeah, I Are you? Thank you.
also on Monday. I think that we are going to court again on Monday because I just wanted to give you a quick update. I know that the minister is going to give his keynote address, but I think it's important that we show solidarity with the people of Boca that the block site has now been sold and it is now owned by Prime Property. And I think that on Monday we will be going to court to oppose them taking over that particular site. So I'm going to hand you over. Like I said, the struggle continues, but tonight is about celebration. And tonight is also about the minister and the ruling party for delivering. And I want the Buka people to know that, that it was the ruling party that delivered those 19 sites. And they are always welcome in our area. So I'm going to say shukran to the minister and I'm going to hand over. See one Buka. I mean, we think this overwhelming support for Buka. Yes, indeed. And uh, you mentioned in passing that, oh, we're having a street Buka tomorrow night and it's just a gathering where we break bread and it's the breaking of our fast. And he said, oh, you're welcome to attend. And the minister said, no, you know, I haven't seen my family for the last few weeks. I've been campaigning and busy with the elections and I don't think I can make it. And then literally ten minutes later, the phone rang again and we were told that the minister has changed his plans and decided to fly in especially yeah, just for yeah, this evening. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, community. And we'll be flying out again later this evening. So we are indeed elated that you could be here again. I did warn the minister the last time he was here that once you come to Buka, you want to repeat your visit. So there's always something to see in Buka. Minister. <laughs> Good evening everybody, uh, today is a, is a very important day uh, as, as we meet here, uh, Butler, our program director, acknowledged the president of the Muslim Judicial Council, said, thank you, thank you so much, and um, all leaders here present, uh, where is the chairperson, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, ah, ah, what chapters we have been together in this uh, the chair of the civic association. Fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum. Peace, peace and blessings to you all. Four days ago marked the beginning of the blessed month of Ramadan. Muslims across the world started fasting. The practice of fasting is one of the five pillars of Islam where Muslims abstain from food and liquids from sunrise to sunset. The Holy Quran stipulates that fasting is ordained upon you so that you may draw closer to God. And indeed, during this blessed month, the Muslim community identifies with the plight of those less fortunate and increase their charitable acts not just locally but in other parts of the world where fellow Muslim communities face considerable hardships and conflicts such as in Palestine, in Syria, in Libya to mention just a few. As government we remain committed to fighting abject poverty that is the meaning. We understand that it is an assault on the dignity of those that suffer. In the end, it means all of us. Our fundamental point of departure is that South Africans have it in their power as a people and as part of progressive humankind to continually change the environment in which we operate in the interest and the best interest of the future, the better future of our children. Islam is indeed anchored and rooted in the search for justice, righteousness, and part and parcel of building peaceful coexistence of all of humanity. The very building blocks which speak to the spirit of Ubuntu. The breaking of fast, known as the Buga tradition, indicates personified in Buga is to share the sunset meal which we have just uh, uh, did 
with loved ones, neighbors and friends. The street Bukam, in the historical area of Bukam, honors the legacies left behind by our forefathers who walked these very streets and built a rich cultural legacy which still forms part of the heritage in this area. We cannot ignore the fact that religion next to family is the second oldest institution. It governs social as well as personal behavior of human beings by providing guidelines, laws and principles relating to their interaction amongst themselves. On my recent visit here to Bogam, I observed how residents of this community are guided by their faith in their conduct and interactions with one another. It is indeed beautiful to witness the sense of community here in Boca. While the street Boca started as a form of peaceful protest in 2018 in the fight against gentrification and the erosion of cultural heritage of the area today, just a year later, the street Buka celebrates the designation of 19 Buka heritage sites yeah, yeah. recently declared in the world. The governing party, the African National Congress, came to support the struggles of Buka and the people of this area showed, who showed confidence in the ANC through their voting. The ANC and the government thank you so much for taking such a step. Yeah, yeah. We believe that uh, we need to step to take one step at a time. Uh, this, the winning of this war signals to the entirety of Western Cape that it can be done. We are going to have a situation where people are able to decide their future and their fate. You are an example of that. I want to thank all of you, the dramatic, dramatic, dramatic to the Boca, and I know very soon I'll be getting a side here stand so that I become part of the of the community. But together we will move forward. And what has happened in the past few weeks is just the beginning. We still have a long way to go. One of the things we want to think about together with my colleagues, uh, uh, Ibrahim Patel and others, is how to ensure that there is economic activity in this community. And this community is able to show the world and stand up on its own to feed its children, to ensure that its children are actively involved in sport, in cultural activities and so on. And all that, we believe, it will be done, inshallah. Thank you. We do look forward to all the promises that you've, you've made and we will hold you accountable. And the Buka people don't forget easily, so they will harass you and find you and remind you about what you said. Um, but shukran so much, a, a very big tramakasi from our community for all the efforts also on your end and with the department and what they've done to fast track and just expedite the designation of the 19 heritage sites. Uh, last week you mentioned that it's merely phase one and that we can expect that there will be a lot more in the pipeline for this community and we're very encouraged to hear your plans together with Minister Ibrahim Patel around uh, economic development of the area. You spoke to family and on that note I actually need to acknowledge a member of my family, my sister-in-law, she's going to be very upset at me for this, but it is her birthday today and I was the last one to wish her today. So to Rafika, a very happy birthday uh, and uh, during this blessed month of Ramadan. I'm going to call on the President of the Muslim Judicial Council, Sheikh Erafan, to do the closing du'a as well as to say a few words and then we'll uh, end this evening's proceedings, inshallah. Shukran.